Welcome to this review for Backup Genie, one of the top providers that we've got on bestbackups.com, that's our website. So today we're just going to be looking through Backup Genie, seeing what features they've got, seeing what pricing they've got. I'll show you how the software works and um, <clears throat> that'll be pretty much it. Backup Genie is quite a strong candidate in our top list. They have a good price, they have decent software that isn't really for power users but it is for um, it's, it's good for any home use that you'd want um, what you need to also consider with them though is that uh, they're kind of part of the same company that also does just cloud my PC backup and zip cloud so you're getting a very similar service just with a different brand and different pricing if you're using backup genie so let's uh, take a look at the software I'll start off by signing up and then showing you what goes on. So all I really need for the sign up is my name. Top Cloud Backups is the old website address, but I don't have the new one registered yet. Okay, you can also connect with Facebook, which is good. So <clears throat> now that I've downloaded it, I need to select the plan that I want. So they've got three different options, 75 gigabytes, 250 gigabytes, and an unlimited package. You can see the prices in euros because I'm in Europe, but the price is the same in dollars. So for the 75 gig one, it would be $6.95 per month. Um, and for unlimited, it would be $9.95. So paying monthly $10 a month for unlimited, that's a pretty good deal. Now you can pay by Visa or you can pay by PayPal. And if I upgrade my account, I can save 20%. But what I'd like to do is actually download the software, which looks like is not really available. Let's see if I just click on the logo. Then I'm taken to my control panel. It looks like, why am I storing 5.9 megabytes when I haven't done anything yet? That's interesting. It looks like, yes. So what's happened here is that um, I've, been, I've been doing reviews for quite a few websites. And as I said, my PC backup, um, Zip Cloud, and uh, Just Cloud. They are pretty much the same service. So I think what's happened is they've identified my email address. And then uh, with my PC backup, they've uh, <clears throat> they've kind of transferred all my files over to Backup Genie. So that's why without uploading anything, you can already see some files. But um, I'll just try and download the software so I can show you. This is a bit unexpected for me that this has happened. Here we go, download. Download app. Okay, pretty small file, downloaded in about half a second, so that was pretty good. Just waiting for it to load. While that's happening, I'll just go back to my control panel. Okay, here we go, I'll just install it. Takes up 580 kilobytes, very good. Most software I've seen is at least 10 megs, but some of them are even 30 megs, so 600 kilobytes is pretty good. While that's loading, let's just take a look at the control panel. So you can see here there's an online interface where you can access the files that you've already uploaded, so that's good because you don't need to install the software to actually access your files. You can get hold of it online. And we're off. So just logging in now, and here. You can select what files I want to back up. That's the first step. Okay, so this is kind of the front page of the software. They've got like a backup interface where you can pause and stop backups. You can also see a summary. So I've got pending 370 megabytes upload. Drag and drop, it kind of works like a folder, so they've got the kind of Dropbox type feature here where you can just drop files into there and it'll get backed up. 
because obviously um, at the start I selected some folders, but what if you've got some individual files that aren't in those folders? Well, then you can just drag them, drop into here, and they will be backed up. My files, that just opens up the control panel, so that brings up the online interface. Restore, it's pretty simple. You can just see all the files that have been uploaded, and you can restore the files. Sync folder, that's just the same as the My Files section. And then the settings is what's interesting because these are the settings that the software offers. So generally, in the general stuff, you can remove install the software. Scheduling, you can schedule the backups. So if you don't want it to happen daily, you can do it manually or you can do it hourly. You can do advanced scheduling and automatically pause the backup at a certain time. Selection, this is obviously where you select which folders you want to back up and also you can limit the size of the file that you want to upload or the maximum size so if you don't want to upload all your films which are a gigabyte then you can avoid doing that. Bandwidth, very important feature. If your ISP restricts your bandwidth then obviously you don't want um, the backup software to be uploading one gigabyte a day because you might run out of bandwidth. So you can just select a daily limit, one gigabyte, and then it won't go above that. File types, you can exclude certain file types. So some of these you probably don't want to upload, like you know Windows config files, I think VMware is, so things like that. Authentication, you can change your login details. Security, non-secure, secure. I prefer secure because obviously I'm uploading my personal documents, so I'm not sure if it's good that I'm just kind of transferring those in plain text and power and CPU you can limit the, whether the backups happen on battery power so that's pretty good you don't waste your battery so those are the settings that Backup Genie offers I think for a standard user that should be completely sufficient maybe not for a power user who does server updates or server backups but it's perfectly fine and obviously the good thing is that you can get unlimited backups for ten dollars a month or on a yearly schedule that becomes even better. Yes, I'd like to exit without saving my changes. Okay, um, my devices in the in the web control panel, we've got a nice little service here to locate your device. Um, I'm on a Mac so um, Apple do offer a similar service already but if you're on a PC or a laptop you can, uh, it's quite useful that you can just locate the device if it's been stolen. Okay, events, you, you know, that's all the scheduled backups. So that's one part of the online control panel. Sharing is pretty good because you can actually share with other users, Backup Genie, so kind of like Dropbox, you can share your backups. Really useful for, um, especially with the unlimited space, if you can share files. Referrals, this is pretty good. I'll just show you the rewards section. Um, just look, here we go. This is something I really like about Backup Genie is that they offer you, um, basically you can upgrade your account, get some space, or you can do these uh, extra tasks and those will increase your space, like completing the Getting Started Guide, you get 125 megs. Connect a mobile device, you get a, an extra 100 meg. Share a file, you get 75 megs. So obviously that's good because someone else will sign up. Link to Facebook, link to Twitter, 50, 50 megs. Obviously that's good for Backup Genie because they can mark it to your linked friends. But it's also good for you, you get an extra 100 megs. Import email contacts. Again, be careful with that because they'll probably send your friends a few emails. But you do get 250 megabytes. Add phone number, add a mobile number. Assume that so that they can contact you easily, 50, 50 megs. And if you do actually bring a paid user, you'll get one gigabyte free. So that's pretty good unless you're on, on unlimited space, in which case it doesn't really matter. My account, you can just change your account details, upload file, that's just the sync folder, so you can do that on the web interface as well. One thing I'll just look at now is their Facebook page. It's pretty nice, nice design, let's see how active they are. Well, last post was July the 6th, so I wouldn't exactly say that they're very active on Facebook, which isn't too good. Most backup providers have daily posts. 
Black Ops Genie hasn't tweeted yet, so they, they're completely inactive on their Twitter as well. So not a very good sign. I mean, obviously these sort of companies do need a social presence and do find it a bit strange that they don't have that. Okay, I'm just going to log out now. Take a look at their features. And their website's a bit empty, to be honest. It's probably out of all the brands that just cloud do this is probably the, their weakest one I think it might be a reseller actually but I'm not sure um, okay so let's just take a look at their support center so they've got video tutorials which is very good because you've got a step-by-step -step process of how to do the install um, you've got frequently asked questions I check those out they've pretty much got every single possible question you can possibly ask answered here so Definitely wouldn't have problems with that. And finally, they run a speed test so you can see what your bandwidth is like. And they've got support which does respond in a quick uh, less than 24 hours. So very impressed with that. We tried them. So that's kind of the summary of Backup Genie. Very similar to some of our other providers, as I've said before. Um, <clears throat> I'd say we'd probably give them about 4 out of 5. They're a bit lacking on the social presence. They're out of all of the, the different brands of my PC backup, Zip Cloud and Just Cloud, it's probably the weakest one. But um, still a good service, still a good price. Ten dollars a month, paying monthly for unlimited space is great. So if you're interested, then definitely sign up. You can read our detailed review. Just check the link underneath this video, or it's at www.bestbackups.com. Thanks for listening.